Hey guys, this is James Rowney once again for another vlog from Home and Beyond. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified when I upload a brand new video. And today is a really emotional day because this is my final day of Cinderella right here at the Sutton Arts Theatre. And between you and me, last days on shows give me the uh, the uh, end of show blues which is really sad indeed and that's what caused me not to do the uh, the sixth episode of our house day so once again i apologize on that so i thought maybe i can do this vlog just to make up for it so let's go inside and get everything set up oh and by the way be sure to watch out for some more exclusive interviews today in this video. So as you can see, everything is all decorative in here. Alright everyone, hey there, just doing just doing my uh, last day vlog today. This is uh, Millie right here, she's part of the backstage group. No, I'm not part of the backstage group, I'm stage manager, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm from there>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows. So anyway, Mill, um, last, uh, last day today, how do you feel? Yeah! Absolutely amazing, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I like that. And there's Mark right here. He's as crazy as usual. He <laughs> is the stage crew. I am the stage crew. <laughs> yeah, and of course I'm part of the stage crew as I'm well. I'm responsible for any disasters around here. <laughs> That's my role. Uh, just like the time when uh, when the kitchen cloth got stuck. Okay, yeah, that, that, I don't know. That, that wasn't anyone's fault. That was just, it just fell off. Ah, oh, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, we not there when we fix it. You were. Was that which one? Two nights. Oh, the cloth. Yes, I remember the cloth. <laughs> this is what? how disasters happen because Mark forgets that they happen. Oh, okay. Yes. Mark Mark was in the kitchen clock. Open your kitchen clock here. Oh, and wasn't there a bit in the in the bedroom scene where about a couple of times where uh, where the bed got uh, broke? Yeah, I wonder why that happened. I wonder how that. Happened. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please, um... You, you mean the bit where I sneaked off and I thought, no, I won't put it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. what happens in the scene. By the way, James, just stay away from that corner of the bed. Why, Mark? <laughs> 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 yeah, I wonder how that happened. Hmm. Mistakes of fortune. Only a fool corrects a mistake of fortune. Oh, and by the way, did you know that, um, that Luke had, um, he caught it all on camera? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mind you, I did ask him to upload it onto the Facebook group page. He will at some point. Yeah, that's something I want to treasure for the rest of my life. <laughs> but, well, I guess that's what happens in Panto. Mistakes happen, right? Yeah. You keep them in. Because, yeah, it, keep it, them it in. makes it more funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty of Panto. Anything can happen. There's Mr. Dexter, Whitehead himself, hard at work. Just because you're playing buttons doesn't mean that you don't get to the Hoover every now and then. <laughs> That's a good point. We have the ladies' boudoir right here. And lucky there's no one inside, so I thought I'd have myself a little look round. Take a look at it, it's all glamorous here. 
you have all the tinsels right here on every single mirror and down here if I can get the ah here we go those are uh, a couple of Cinderella's wigs right here this is her uh, wig that she normally wears and this is Cinderella's wig for the ball it's very glamorous by the way and over here this is the uh, the stepmother's wig right I think I better get out of here Ooh. so we open the door and I just turn on the light we go all along the way here This is the, uh, I'll turn on these lights right here. This is the, uh, the Lady Ensemble's boudoir right here. Or dressing room, if you will. And up there, this is, uh, Tim here. He's, he's playing Prince Charming. And as you can see, this is a, a photo still when he did The Wedding Singer that I went to watch about, I think it was about a, about a couple of years ago that I went to see it. It was absolutely amazing. They had me dancing, pretty much. Oh, hello there. As you can see behind me, those are the, uh, the costumes for uh, for opening up at the beginning and ballroom and pretty much the, uh, and also the, uh, the, the finale. So that's uh, pretty much everything in the uh, ladies' boudoir right here, or ensemble dressing room. Let's move on. I'll just turn off the lights so they don't suspect anything. And uh, this is another dressing room right here. And uh, more ensemble stuff right here. Let's turn the lights off again. And on all the way along here there's the kitchen, as I've told you about. This is where we uh, normally hang out. And up there, this is another one of the TVs where we could keep an eye on everything. Now let me see if I could uh, try and turn it on. Oh, hang on. seem to find anything to turn the TV on. Must turn itself on automatically. Here are there's uh, Cinderella's rags right down here. The giant apple in the Tree of Truth scene. And speaking of the Tree of Truth, if we come all the way along here here is the Tree of Truth itself. The candles for the, uh, for the ballroom. Much looks better on the other side. Along here, that is where the music comes from. The orchestra pit. Another one here. Ah, now this is the uh, the ugly stepsister's sauna system, and uh, goes from warm all the way up to danger. <laughs> this is where they usually uh, shrink down to a size of a child, literally. It's slick, quick, lean, and mean. And uh, these are the uh, Big Mac meal boxes from uh, 12 Days of Christmas, which I provided, by the way. Yeah, uh, cans of carling right there. Oh, sounds like someone's coming. I wonder who that could be. There's Midi again. Oh, no! <laughs> She's got, no! She's got the giant water pistol on her. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Oh, you. I love this. It's what got for birthday. Well, let's have a look. No! No, no. <laughs> no. Right, I'm holding up. <laughs> oh, that's better. It's a minion water. Yeah, mind you, don't wet my lens with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that would happen anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you wet it. <laughs> 
Run! <laughs> oh, oh no, I think I better take cover. No! <laughs> oh yes. That was funny. <laughs> yes, something to put in my vlog. <laughs> Certainly gonna get the view shooting up. <laughs> oh my god, I am now officially wet. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to a Paul T tonight, I think. Yeah. It's good to know we're a professional institution here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so much. <laughs> ah. No! <laughs> Serves him right, that does. Serves him right. Well, right now, I'm, uh, I can get the curtain, uh, Moved. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit dried up now, so I'm, so I'm gonna probably. Uh, oh, someone's turned the lights off. Oh, who's making all that drilling noise? Hang on. Once I open the door, make sure it's uh, locked onto the radiator, just to give it a bit more room. I'll find out where the drilling is coming from. Oh, it was you, Mark. Yeah, I wonder where the drilling was coming from. I'm just making a screw. A screw. Ah, oh, see. <laughs> Screwing up is normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Safe as houses. What can go wrong? Am I break again? <laughs> Slight chance. Yeah. Joe, I was saying to Luca just yesterday, and when he uh, caught it on camera, he should put it on you've been framed and get 250 quid for it. To undo what I've just done, then in that case. <laughs> there we we'll, we'll get there. So I got the uh, the official Cinderella program right here. If I could get a clear quality on it, just open it up. So have the uh, word search right here. Turn onto this page. You have the uh, the cast and creative team right here. There's the cast. From Emily Armstrong all the way down to Toby Gretton, who's playing Marty Mouse. And if I can find there, there we are. James Brownie right there. Right above George Turner. Again, there's me in the in, in the adult uh, male ensemble right here. But right now, if you'll excuse me, I better get myself changed. Well, here I am once again in my opening uh, number outfit. <laughs> and as you can see, pretty much everything is getting set up for the opening sequence. There's the, uh, the baker's store right here. And fresh fruits and vegetables. Well, when I say fresh fruit and vegetables, 
actually meant rotten bananas and rotten oranges. But oh well. <laughs> oh hey Wanda. Just, James. Yeah, just what, doing some vlogging next? today. Uh, oh, oh, what's happening, James? Vlogging. Hey. Hey. Now, has everyone got a little feature? Everyone in the cast, because they're all getting upset about the other day when. Oh yeah, I did kind of feel bad about it. So you need to speak to everyone, don't you? Yep, I could definitely guarantee that. You're gonna guarantee that everyone will be in this vlog, not just buttons. Yep. You're gonna cut this bit out with me and you? <laughs> yes. That oh. means cutting me out as well, thank you very much. You can cut yeah, Wanda out, I want to me? give from Wanda the glory. Oh, I'm sorry James, I'll get <laughs> off. No, 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 I need the light. <laughs> just every single character needs to Crazy be involved in the vlog, I think. You know right. A grey Ford. Grey Ford. EGF, no. Colin, is he gonna get he's the chairman, is he gonna get in the vlog? Oh <laughs> Let's, what, what are you letting me in for? This is the vlog, mate. <laughs> this is the chairman of the theatre. Hey. He's Hello. a very talented man. I'm glad you think. Helps so. design all the sets and all that kind of stuff, yeah. and he's really where the money comes from, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, he a, controls the money. This is I mean, my final yes, show vlog today. <laughs> final show vlog this is. This is going up on James's uh, YouTube channel, it's gonna oh. go global. Oh yes. Well, See you later folks. Glad See you later. later. Cheers. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Enjoy yourself doing what? I don't know what I'm saying. Well, enjoy yourself getting ready and do the show. Start number 10 to see with you, can we? Let's see what else we can find. There's Mark behind me again. Crazy Mark. Is it a seat? Is it, oh, is it part? Is it got two Christmas? Well, as you can see, it's Six nearly half right. an hour until curtain up. So right now, I'm here with the one and only Mr. Paul Atkins. He's playing at one of the ugliest stepsisters, and I think her name is a uh, Jalapino. Is it Jalapino? Yes. Jalapino. Yes. Hello. I thought I'd give it more of an <laughs> Italian uh, fluent accent there. So um. I don't normally look like this, by the way. I've got orange makeup. Oh yes. Yeah. He's just getting himself ready. So um. So tell me um. How's the uh, Cinderella experience been for you? Uh, really good, yeah. I've really enjoyed it. It's been amazing. Um, lots of shows, but good fun. And uh... sorry, sorry, I'll just uh, ignore that. I'll, I'll bleed that. So, um, so, uh, and second of all, um, uh, what's your favourite bit about playing an ugly stepsister? Um, I think it's because uh, well, I enjoy the the comedy of the the role, and uh, I enjoy that. Uh, you can ad lib sometimes on the stage with the yes, audience. That's true. Um, Particularly yeah. with the bed where, where, where the bed broke. Oh, where the bed breaks. <laughs> it doesn't always break, but it broke. It, in fact, it's broke two times. So, oh yeah, I recall. Uh, that either time, time we've had to uh, make some lines up, and you know, but that's part of the fun of doing panto. Yes. Um, and uh, I also enjoy that you know the every audience is different. So yes, definitely. <laughs> And working with Paul, of course, the band, yeah. amazing. Yep. And working with him, Paul Westcott, right there. Yeah. Yep. So we have the other two Pauls. So, uh, God, yep. looks... pretty much, pretty much the same uh, flow to the other two Ronnies, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, and so that was Paul Atkins right here. So right now, I'm about to uh, interview the uh, the daddy's side, Mr. Baron Hardup, Mr. Paul Westcott. So I'll see you in a bit. So here we are, Hi, Mr. Yeah. Mm, so Mr. Paul Westcott, who's played Baron Hardup in Cinderella. So um, how's the Cinderella experience been for you? It's absolutely fantastic. So this is probably the, we're trying to work it out, this is probably my 25th panto that I've done. Wow! Um, so, but yeah, this one's absolutely brilliant. And you're in it as well, so it couldn't be any better, could it? <laughs> yes. So, um, so what's your uh, favorite bit about playing this role? Uh, because you can, you can just ad lib. I have certain things that I could do. I'm a, I'm a downtrodden husband. I'm a downtrodden husband. So apart from I turn on her in the end, but that's here we are. That's a big reveal now. But yeah, and also the slapstick and audience participation, sing songs, everything. I like everything. Fantastic. Um. Uh, so um. So what's your uh, been your favourite scene in the uh, in the entire show? The ghost scene with you. Ah, fantastic. That's, that's my favourite scene, scene as well. Yep. What about the bit where the bed broke? Uh, the bit where the bed broke <laughs> twice. The bed broke twice. So that was amazing. Yeah, I told um, the other Paul that one. That's right, yeah. But luckily, because I'm so thin, it didn't matter when I got on, so it still supported <laughs> yes. it. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of a pantomime, right? Anything can happen. Oh, no, it can't. Oh, oh don't. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did then? <laughs> yeah, I certainly did, Paul. 
<laughs> right, so that was Paul Westcott, no, uh, a.k.a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that really his name? A.k.a. <laughs> Let's try that again. So that was uh, Mr. Uh, Paul uh, Westcott here playing Baron Hard Up. So I'll find someone else. Um, probably a uh, James Hutt who's playing. M <laughs> no mozzarella. Um, pretty funny, funny really because he only put that on pizza. So thank you very much, Paul. Yeah, take care. Have a good Christmas. Bye. Thank you very much. So I'll go and find James wherever he's gone. And I'll get his uh, interview, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, there's the other popcorn right up there, but Why how did he get that? up there? Why would you do that, James? <laughs> that's the magic of panto. panto. Yep, and that's the magic of vlogging. So there's Paul getting ready for the show. Pretty much almost done. And there's James right here. Yeah, I suppose I could make an appointment. So, as I was saying, whilst uh, James Hutt is temporarily unavailable for the interview, so I thought in the meantime I'll probably interview Mr. Ollie himself, who's playing Dandy. Ollie Fanti. Oh, fair enough. Dude, well, you haven't that slot though. I've given you a slot. Yep. Good point. I need to shave Ollie's slot. Oh, James, I wish you'd f these lot. Do not lose the Feels like the full Monty in here. <laughs> no, it isn't. I was only just joking, Phoebe. Phoebe, there's a big reveal on that vlog that when you watch it, you're going to go, wow. Oh, yes. There's a big surprise on the way. No, for you, it's personal for you, really. Yeah. And you're going to go, oh my god. Really? Yeah. No, literally. That's true. <laughs> oh, I'm quite excited, are you? No, you're not. excited. You're going to be angry more than excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and believe me, Phoebe, you will. If people mess with my popcorn, Paul, where's my popcorn? Don't smile at me like that. I swear to God it isn't me, but you're not. Paul! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't know. How are you yeah. going to get it down? The only person who could reach that is Rat, isn't it? It's the other brothers. Yeah. Well, I thought it was Marty Mouse. No, honestly, it isn't me. It wasn't me. Do you want me to transfer that for you? Yeah, I can't see that. You. It wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to get it down, mate? Hey, Mark. Can you get the ladder and all? It's getting a bit dark in here. Oh, and here we are, once again, the audience is starting to pretty much fill up. And I better put this back on the uh, fruit and vegetable store. There we are then, all ready to pick up. And I think I'll probably go and get Marty Mouse from his little hideout. Now, as you can see, I placed Marty Mouse on here just to save Giles from rushing around all over the place. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit misty in here. Besides, 
Right now, I'm here with the puppeteer of the uh, Marty Maoister himself, no pun intended, the one and only Mr. Giles right here. Thank you very much. And so, um, what's been your uh, favourite bit about Cinderella? Well, it's got to be when the pyros go off next to Marty the Mouse, because I can use them as sort of a shield to shield my eyes, but I just love pyros. <laughs> I guess that's one that way done. of putting it. Yeah. So, um, what's, what's been... Uh, so, what do you say is your uh, favourite scene in the entire show? In the entire show, it would have to be the carriage scene because I love the dry ice and everything. Yeah. And can I just say, on the record, that James has helped me with the puppeteering, with the skills, because I had no idea what was going on until James gave me a hand. Fair enough. There and, we go, uh, there we go. Do you know what my favourite bit is? One. The one with the bed breaks. <laughs> oh, that is good, that is good. <laughs> Even though that wasn't supposed to happen, I told, I told oh, well. it to about a few people right now. It was now. rather funny, it was rather funny. <laughs> so, so thank you very much, Giles. Yeah, I might as well get myself so ready for the uh, opening of Act Two. So I'll see you in a minute. We're getting close to the bounce now, and I'm just gonna watch it. Hello, the winning side versus your side. We are winning. So three times as fast, three times as fast. Go to the three. Let's go. Everybody, here we go. Right, I just had myself a nice walk and um, I'm just on my way back to the theatre, ready for a nice buffet. I'm so excited. Yeah, I know. I completely forgot it was a onesie party too. Right, so um, so now we've finally managed to find ourselves a bit of space where we can't be interrupted. We have, haven't we, James? Love it. Yep, yeah, so... Um, so right now, I'm here with the wonderful Ollie right here, who is playing the Prince's right-hand man, 
Dan Dini. So say hi, Ollie. You all right, everyone? How are we doing? Great. So, um, so first of all, um, what's been your favourite bit about playing Dan Dini? I just think the camaraderie that me and Prince Charlie Daddy. love it. <laughs> oh, Toby, mate. <laughs> Toby. Oh, this is just all one big setup, isn't it? Oh. Uh, I, I, what I don't understand is why you're interviewing my brother and not me. <laughs> because he's one of the cast. <laughs> you know what, James? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Go on. Oh, guys, we're going to be James' vlog. Oh. I don't think this vlog's going to be Hi. back tomorrow. Hey! Hi! 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 Oh, yeah, you're oh, still yeah. here. And they can like Toby goes. No, I don't! No, I don't! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, my <laughs> Go, Toby. <Toby. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> So I'm here with ensemble member number four, and her name is uh, Kate Lowe. So, so say hi to everyone, Kate. Hello, everyone. Hi. So, um, what's your uh, favourite bit about being ensemble member? <laughs> Interesting um, yeah, answer. Yeah, Rise of the Ensemble and the Ballroom. Yeah, so that's one of my favourites as well. <laughs> well. Well, well, apart from the fact where I, well, I still keep on getting that uh, that button getting on and getting loose. Yeah, well, that'll be all right, James. It's just, yeah. There's only one yeah. show left. Yeah, only one show left. Um, it's only just happened for a couple of shows. But still get it's away. It's Despacito with. because of my face goes like this and Despacito. <laughs> I don't know why, it just goes. Yeah, so um, so what's your uh, favourite bit about the, the entire show then? The end. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Dandini. Yes, Dandini. Yeah. Yes. Right, so... Uh, <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? I get one minute and seven seconds of interview. Yeah, like, <laughs> well, not quite a one minute and uh, seven seconds, about one minute and 15 seconds, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. That's all I get. I get two questions. <laughs> well, I can't Jim's think of... got loads. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. You're only looking for Outraged. Uh, well, let me think. <laughs> let, me, let me just think of another one. Let me just think of another one. Uh, no, I can't think of anything else. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just having myself one last walk around the entire set before the final show begins. Mm-hmm. 
And also, for the last final performance this evening, let's see how much people we got in store. And the clock is ticking as well. Definitely getting foggy in here. Here we go. Boys and girls, welcome to our new ladies. Get ready to scream, cheer, boo, here's quite as loud as you possibly can. Let's get ready for the magic of fire! Well, as you now can see, the final performance is officially over and I'm nearly getting a bit emotional, but, but seriously though, that now that the show is over, I would like to say a massive thank you to everyone for coming along to see the show and of course in the, in the immortal words of Walt Disney himself, as he once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And that is exactly what Cinderella is all about dreams and determination so once again thanks so much for coming along to see the shows and i better get myself ready for the after show party it's gonna be a blast hey speech time <laughs> Okay, I'll try and make it as quick as possible so I can carry on with the Prosecco. Um, right, where to begin? Okay, um, firstly, I want to say a huge thank you to um, everybody that supports um, the show. That includes the bar, all the people that run the box office that clear up all the sweets after every single performance, <laughs> that sweep up everyone's wrappers, etc, etc. Uh, those are the people, the unsung heroes, that keep it all going, really. Hey! Um, okay, so moving on to the production itself then. Uh, where would we be without our wonderful stage manager, Millie? Hey, go, Millie! Job Wanda's not here, but you are the best stage manager. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's just turned up as well. Oh, oh no, quick, that's fine. <laughs> so you've been absolutely fantastic, keeping oh, everybody yes. going. I'm sure they all listened to you, didn't they, Millie? Absolutely. Got on stage <laughs> when you told them <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, no. The, rest, the rest one was a fairy godmother. She was never on stage on time. <laughs> <laughs> Things to do. Happened? Things to do. <laughs> um, and then uh, the people that have supported backstage, so the members of the cast that have all done the set changes, well done to all of them, that's been fantastic. Robbie for coming along every now and again just for the beer. And the wine. <laughs> I'm moving a few things. I'm, I'm moving a few things, RTM. Yeah, of course you are, Robbie. You just want to get into the bar. Uh, Lee, our fantastic drummer. Yay! We couldn't have done the show without those three, really. Um, I'm going to forget people I know. Out. Peter Wilman for writing the script and letting me adapt it. Um, thank you to him because uh, he, he, you know, always pulls out the stops, doesn't he, with the funny jokes, etc., etc. We will move on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, who else do we need to thank? Oh, I'm saving him till last. Marty oh, Marty Mouse Giles, <laughs> right down, right down. Um, yeah, this this guy, without Martin Trass, this show would not be what it is because he pulls out all the magic. He's created a fantastic 
pumpkin. He's there till three o'clock in the morning when we're still here drinking, painting the set, glittering the set, building things, rebuilding them, taking them apart, rebuilding them again. You, you don't get anything finished until three shine. hours before we open, but he always delivers. So thank you, Mark. Yay! Yay! that are operating the lights. So we've got Wanda, Elaine, who's over there. Hey! All the spot operators, Luca, Sophie, and Louise. Hey! And David Ashton for the fantastic lighting. He's not here at the moment. He is, he is. Little Chris, little Chris. Hey. Hey. Woo! I haven't moved on to sound yet. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Andrew Monson and Chris. Yeah! Uh, the chaperone, Janice. Yeah! Hey! Keeping all you wonderful kids in check. <laughs> job and Veronica as well um, and a special mention I've got to give to Phoebe Jackson because this girl's like my right hand woman she'll do anything I ask her to do she's always there works her socks off not just on stage but off stage she created that magical <coughs> costume all by herself that transformation dress she's a legend she's <laughs> Um, and then finally, just to the wonderful cast, uh, you've just been absolutely superb. I've got to say, as, hang on. Would you pipe down? I've got to say, a wonderful mention to uh, the cast because they've just been superb. The kids, let's give a round of applause. Hey! They are the best kids in the ensemble. We've got a wonderful. Adult ensemble, it's been rising. Hey! And obviously, number six dancer, Emma. No, I mean, number one. <laughs> uh, Miss Emma, Miss Emma, has also choreographed the show along with Anna Porter, who's not here tonight, and they deserve a huge round. Hey! Everybody's worked extremely hard, it's been a long run, we're exhausted, we can't wait to get. Feed. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great Christmas, everybody. Hey! Hey! Oh, no, don't tell me so as soon as me. Right, um, so, don't worry, so I've got my glamorous assistant. Um, there's just a few thank yous that we did over to say um, to the um, backstage crew and everyone that's helped. We've got a few gifts just from all the cast. Um, so, can, shall we start with um, Luca, our spot, and Lee? Can you come up and get a few presents for our wonderful drummer? Yay! 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 Um, John, our fabulous MJ, would you like to come up? Yay! <laughs> Jackson, there's a few people got 
special little shoe as well for someone that had to step in at the last minute on our snow day, and that is Abigail for doing all the work. The Child at Heart Award goes to James Hutt. Yay! Yay! Go, James! Where's your Bob Go? Where's your Bob Go? Oh, we see out there, see you behind. And the last one, and they will be very, very pleased to accept this award. For people who've been in the bar every night, you will understand this. The Cinderella understudy goes to Emma Green. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Hey! To finish, I'd just like to give a little shout out to Phoebe Jackson for doing it all and being the best Cinderella set up I've no. ever had. Hey! 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 So, how about that? The Vlogging Award! <laughs> this is actually the first award I ever got for vlogging! Fancy hat! Right now, I'm starting to feel a little bit naughty. Alright, come to daddy. <laughs> Just like the real thing. So, let's have one final look at everything else in the starting arts before everything goes away. Not much in the, uh, in the female ensemble dressing room has changed. The costumes are still here. We're probably going to be packing them away tomorrow. Which, shamefully, I won't be here because I've got a sister at rehearsal in the morning. And the uh, junior ensemble is pretty much empty. Costume's still there. So we head out onto the stage for the final time. The orchestra pit is pretty much empty. The keyboard is gone. Well, even though the drum kit still remains. Some of the props are still here, including the pumpkin carriage, glass slipper. In fact, um, this glass slipper, it reminded me at the time when I did another Cinderella production at the Sutton Caulfield Town Hall two years ago now. And it was with a uh, Richmond War Productions. And after that, I hadn't even done Panto since. The uh, ballroom is uh, pretty much still here. Candles are still here, but they're not even lit anymore. The clock still on midnight. Pretty much a trademark of Cinderella. Um, like I said, when I look on this stage when the show is over. It's like all the magic is like, phew, all gone. Well, I know it's sad, but all good things must come to an end. And uh, hi, Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, no, sorry, we keep the phone Oh, that's all right. Hi. Hi. See you later, Joe. See you later. Take care of yourselves. Right, well, I better get myself back to the party and maybe do a few more interviews. Right, Mark, loving the hat. See you keeping up with the Christmas spirit. Ah, <laughs> oh, see. Oh, yeah. Right.
Hey! <laughs> hey! My dad's in the vlog. I'm so happy to be in this vlog. I feel famous. Oh, you do now. James, can we, can we have a photo? Yeah. Oh, we look beautiful. Don't we look beautiful, James? Oh, yes. Locked. Hey, you two. Really, James, having a good time. Yeah, you. you had a good, you had a good panther. Yeah, it's been a good run. Yes. Yeah. What, what are you drinking? Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Yeah. How are you going to cope with this after show blues tomorrow? Well, I've got another rehearsal uh, for a different show, so uh, yeah, I've got sister at rehearsal tomorrow, so I'll probably get over it more quicker. So right now, I'm here with the most beautiful choreographer I've ever known, Miss Emma Green. Miss so, Emma Green. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so how's the uh, panto journey been for you? Wonderful, as always. Yes. It's been cracking, I love it. Yeah. So what's been your favourite moment about the panto? The ballroom coming together. Oh yeah, <laughs> mine too. The ballroom coming together. And what would you say is your most favourite scene in the entire panto? The shoe fitting scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Maybe, um, maybe my favourite moment on that was tonight's one. Uh, when we left a little message for George in all of our shoes <laughs> as we nice. tried on Cinderella's shoe. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to sound like I'm using it as a cash raise now. Oh yes. Go from Churchill. Oh yes. <laughs> Hi James. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's, um... James, can you give us good angles? Hey Luca! Hey! Yay! Hey. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you gotta say, Luca. Yeah, hello. <laughs> right. That, that's pretty much about it for the interviews now, so thank you very much. Hang on, uh, what? what's been your favourite moment? Yeah, well, your favorite moment. well, it's, it's quite daft, but it's, uh, it's where the bed broke. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I think you're a really good scarer. You've had a well, good ghost. Tonight. Yeah, you're a good ghost. Yeah. You're a good ghost, mate. Yeah. Are you embarrassed now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, been, it's been a really long journey, and I never thought I, no, I never thought I'd see the day. I'm getting emotional. Oh, James! Oh, mate. <laughs> Don't get emotional. <laughs> it's all good. Good vibes. Yeah. Good banter. Yeah. Good banter. That's all that matters. Good banter. <laughs> yes. Good show. Well, the yeah, the battery on my phone is nearly about to die, so I'm uh, so I'm gonna have to stop it there. Okay. Okay. Bye, James Blood. See you later. Bye, fans. Okay, bye. Well, this is all 100% official. My time and journey at the Certain Arts Theatre has come to an end, and. I really am going to miss the theatre a lot. So, so long, certain arts. Until next time. So, that's James Rowney signing off for the day. Now, I've got to be really careful because there's ice along the pavements. So, and um, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload a brand new vlog or video. So, until next time, see ya!
Everyone, I'm always in it. How you doing, guys? Right. Hey, this is uh, no, Ollie here. He's playing Dan Dini. So, um, so tell me, um, how's uh, playing uh, Dan Dini ah! for you? Scare. Bloody hell, Dexter, you got me. Dexter, you always try to get into the. Uh... Did you scare? Did I scare you? Uh, yeah, but mind you, you did get your own back on the uh, on Ollie for interrupting From the other day. the exclusive interview. When I had an exclusive day. interview the other day. Ollie... <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible. Use his full name. Paul <laughs> wasn't allowed in the vlogs. Yeah. What you want? Ollie Fant, his name is. get it, like elephant. Oh yes. I right, anyway, so you go back to interview Ollie now. Right? Okay, yeah, coming in, Ollie. Coming interview. in, Ollie. So then, um. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to edit a lot of this. I, I'm so gonna bleep this Come out. Yeah, nah, you f can't. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> What's the f problem? Is that a lad swearing on this? Is gonna, this is gonna be a <laughs> so now I am here with the uh, the one and only Mr. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie. Hi, so I'm here with the uh, yeah. with the one and only Ollie himself. And he's a <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Ollie. So right now I'm uh, one with uh, one of the uh, ugly stepsisters, Mr. Paul Atkins. Right? Oh. <laughs> Shut up! What is wrong with you people? So right now I'm here with the wonderful Mr. Paul Atkins. He's playing one of the ugly stepsisters, and I think her name is. Uh... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> What's happened now, mate? Every time we talk, you're in the It's safe. I actually watched your. Um... So, whilst. Uh, oh! I was about to say that James Hutt is uh, temporarily unavailable, but spoke too soon. So, right now, I'm here with one of my ensemble colleagues. <laughs> Ensemble member number four. No! no. George, you're actually wrecking my interview. Um, <laughs> Kissing you, James. Okay, okay. 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 Take we two. We have these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, um. Don't you dare, George. <laughs> right, so. You've done, Kate. Ensemble member number four is trying to concentrate on this interview. Continue with the interview, James. <laughs> okay, let me just compose myself. See, it's gonna change into me interviewing you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so um, I'm here. <laughs> this is gonna go in the bloopers. Three, two, yep, it's so going one. in the bloopers, Kate. Action. Action. So I'm here with a. <laughs> George, I really want to see this interview.